Okay, six is Omaha. Ten, uh-oh, we're in trouble. The uh, 16 of their 18, 16, 14, 12 is south of North Platte. We're, we're about 11 right now, 700. And we got southwest wind at 40 knots, bringing in the hotter air in. On the north side of Grand Island right now, we're on the southern edge of the moderate risk. And we had an outflow battery come through this morning, which is a wind shift flying out of the northeast. And uh, that pushed south of us about 30 miles. That's lifting back north now with the warm front just south of I-80. And it goes from North Platte over to south of Omaha. And as that battery lifts back north, uh, supercells and tornadoes probably in that three to five o'clock time frame. And what the models are indicating this afternoon is I think the real major tornado threat is going to be west of Omaha. There still could be tornadoes in Omaha this afternoon, but I think the big tornado is concerned it's going to be central Nebraska, north central Nebraska. And as we get it toward that seven to nine o'clock, seven to 10 o'clock, as storms are in northeast Nebraska and they accelerate southeast down the boundary, we're going to have a day ratio after about seven o'clock. That's going to include Omaha, Lincoln, possibly Des Moines on into uh, northern Missouri. And winds of greater than 75 miles an hour, maybe gust over 100. So we're going to have an extremely damaging wind event as well as torrential rain, baseball size hail. That's what's going to occur more in northeast, east central Nebraska into Iowa overnight. And it's going to produce a lot of wind damage, uh, similar to a small tornado. Warning at, we're going to chase mode. Tornado warning northwest of us now. Developing tornado, likely on the ground. Let's go. Moving southeast at 50. Southeast at 50. Tornado warning. Here we go. Okay, we're in chase mode. Get ready. Well, they're actually watching tornado warning northwest of us. We have a southeast at 50. Here we go. Watch the storm northeast. Got pressures lowering. Looks like I just got hit with the boundary. Looking northeast outflow. Temperature's dropping 79. Just got hit with the boundary. This cloud right here is almost on the ground. The northeast winds. This is not the tornado storm. It's rapidly coming toward us. So. This is a storm ahead of the tornadic storm. Temperatures fell from 80 to 74. This is the first outflow boundary. If you guys are watching the live stream, tornado warning immediately west of me here. It's right there. It's right in front of us. We'll move it just a minute. Tornado warning to the west north of Ord. I've, I've got it in the rain. Right I've got something to the right. I've got dust on the right. To the right, Dustin. Look to the right. Far right. We gotta move, we gotta move. Dust out curved to the north. I turned north one mile and then east two miles over 281. Tornado circulation is due north of, of us, due north about one and a half miles. The tornado circulation uh, based on the least velocities. Pull down the wind, my back window no, here. No, 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 there's dust coming in like uh, crazy. Uh, Put it here, this is to the left of the road is where the vort vortex center is. It's real loose, not real tight. I'm at I'm 59 degrees now. It's like 20 degrees. There's undercut it. The biggest problem is still got this outflow stuff going on. Guys, start turning right or it'll never, it won't do it. Circulations right here, it's right to the road. We're exactly uh, three miles northwest of the city of Clark. This is Jeff and Catherine Petrosky live. Weather Nation continuous coverage. This is, uh, yep, I've got it. Thank you. That's a big uh, uh, combine tractor coming north. Here we go. Okay, he's moving over and I'm moving over. Here we go. I'm passing a big combine. Small uh, dust vortex, kind of a, almost a gust NATO run. Gust NATO. It's right here. Wow, look at that. Our severe thunderstorm tracking. Baseball size hail. 